I'm Nathan McCall. <laughs> I'm Karen Yu, and together with my husband, Nathan McCall, we own and operate McCall's Meat and Fish Company. Our chickens, those come locally. Those are grown and raised and done in uh, Lake Balboa up in Van Nuys. And quite frankly, of, I mean, we've eaten a lot of different chicken that's out there and it, it is exceptional. I, we actually roasted some up last night and I still, every time I eat it, it's just like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like yeah. it's so juicy, it's so tender on the beef side. Some of our stuff is coming, it, we use a natural CAB program, which is certified Angus beef, and they do an all natural system, and it comes from more of a network of farmers than, you know, just one big giant factory. It's a really good medium point for the people who don't want to eat prime beef that's, you know, pumped full of corn and antibiotics and hormones, and those that, you know, still aren't quite used to the whole grass fed. It's a but completely we do offer different. 100% grass fed option as well. Just it is meat that, you know, when people ask, oh, what should I do to it? It's like nothing. Salt, pepper, you sear it off, finish it in the oven, and it's seriously like no other meat that you try before. I'm not sure if you've had the Kurabuda, but that is like just absolutely delicious pork. It is so good. It's not like supermarket pork where, you know, you can pretty much like see right through it. It's kind well, of white. Well, this is it right here. And if this you notice, it. like, it's got a huge, I mean, the color difference is the first thing that you kind of notice right off the bat. I mean, it's just so much richer. Supermarket pork is really pale in comparison. This is like, it's got an amazing, like, amount of marbling and fat to it, which obviously makes it quite delicious. I think people are definitely trying to go back to kind of those original concepts and being able to get your meat from somebody who specializes in meat or you know being able to go somewhere that all they do is focus on that one thing. And so the fact that people are aware of these things, I think it does help the fact that we are able to tell them, well this animal came from this farm and this is how they're raising it. And you know people are definitely interested in all that information. And I think also these days, you know, as much as people want to eat 100% sustainable or local, it's not the easiest thing. It's definitely difficult to do that. So, you know, we definitely commend people who are doing that. It's amazing. Um, but, you know, our products, we, we definitely offer a mix. You know, some of it is local. Some of it's definitely sustainable. Like on our fish side, you know, everything is either wild caught or sustainably farm raised. Just, just the enthusiasm that people have about cooking. You know, realizing that, wow, once I have these restaurant quality products and I, and I go home and I cook them, you know, even if it's in the most basic way, it's a really good meal. You know, it's really, people are really happy with, with the quality of product. Once, and once you have it, you realize that the other stuff that, you know, we're used to eating before is really garbage, you know, and it sucks. It really does, man.